making a tier list of all the Call of Duties. Man, this is my actual first time making a tier list, honestly. Because I never make a tier list in a while. <laughs> I never made one because I didn't have a PC back then. So, so today guys, we'll be ranking all the Call of Duties, which I am so ready for this because I've been waiting for this moment. And I shouldn't have done these videos like in the summer, raking all these games. Since this new Call of Duty came out, I actually played a campaign in the multiplayer. Campaign was pretty good for the new Modern Warfare and then the multiplayer is just meh. So yeah, uh, we'll be ranking all the Call of Duty's. So let's get the show started. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, the first, first ever Call of Duty. I I don't know if I played this. I heard that it was pretty good. It was meh. I don't know. I think I didn't play this game, so I'm about to rank it to a C tier, I guess. Might as well rank it to a C tier, cause um I don't know if I play this game or not. But let's see I d I don't know if World of War's in here. Yeah, alright, um, let's get to it. Alright, next up, uh, this is the next Call of Duty. Hmm. This Call of Duty is interesting because, um, I never played it at all. So, I don't know. I'm about to, like, rank it to C tier again because these Call of Duties, I don't know, bro. I really don't know. So, don't blame me or say anything to the comments mean, please. Because, um, I don't know these type of Call of Duties. Probably this one, too, which... I don't know, so I'm about to rank C to all these three. And this one never plays, so I'll put a D because I think it's the worst version of Call of Duty. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, Call of Duty 3. I remember playing this game on the Xbox. I remember the OG Xbox or PlayStation. Man, that that game right here I played, the campaign was so phenomenal. It was perfect. Perfect. I, I loved it. I remember I used to play tanks and then I remember I used to play my little brother or my big brother I used to be like little back then like me and my brother were just playing Call of Duty 3 like it was so interesting and fun That's where we brought Xbox and stuff. Oh man. Good times, man. I love that Call of Duty so much. So I'm about to rake it in the B tier Yeah, pretty good game. Oh forgot Call of Duty 1. I actually played a game it was pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. Very good. Very good game. I loved it. So, it has to be ranked in the B tier. Honestly. Well, you know what? I'm gonna rank this Call of Duty 3 to an A tier because it was a pretty good game. I, I liked it. I liked it. I really liked it, bro. Okay, Call of Duty 2. Okay, this game, it was pretty decent. It wasn't that bad. The campaign was still good. The multiplayer was just meh. Because I didn't play the multiplayer. I think I did. I can't remember like what games did I play for Call of Duty 2. Um, so I will say I will rank this to a C or B. I'm about to pick B because um the campaign was pretty good. Honestly, I, I like the campaign. So yeah, and I never play this game. So that has to be a D tier because yeah. We all know I haven't played that game for a while. Okay, this game. I played on PS, um, you know those little tablets like you play in here and then you move around. It's like a PS v Vita. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Okay, that game, it was all right. I'm not going to say it's, it's like top tier best and all that. So, yeah, let's just give it a C instead because it's not like the actual worst game. It's whatever. And then we're gonna start off with World at War. Okay, World at War. That had a good campaign. I ain't gonna lie. And they had the best first zombies. Not their totem. Yes. I I love World at War. I love World at War. Best campaign. Best zombies. Best multiplayer. So this will be ranked to S here. Yes. I'm telling you, man. This Call of Duty World at War was one of the best. It was one of the best games whenever they released this one. This deserves to be in the S tier. Okay, let's go to Call of Duty 4. Okay, Call of Duty 4 we're talking about here. Oh, man. 
they had a phenomenal campaign. Man, I, I love the first Modern Warfare. Honestly, it tell about the backstories of Price and Soap and um, everybody. We didn't get to see Ghost until we saw him in W2, but yeah. Godly, even Gas too, man. Gas was a pretty good character. No lies, bro. He was a pretty good character. And he died. Ah, best. They had the best campaign and the multiplayer. Multiplayer was alright. But I'm about to say the multiplayer is pretty good. Because it was the first ever multiplayer. Well, I should say World of War was the first multiplayer too. But yeah, second. So this will be ranked to an S tier godly game. Y'all should play it. But it's already old, so yeah. Okay, we're gonna move to Immortal Warfare 2. Beyond, I can't say, bro. Fucking per It's just perfect. It's perfect. This game in W2. Ah, oh, good story. Good multiplayer. Good spec ups. Everything is so good about this game. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 was one of the best, best games. Best games, bro. I love Modern Warfare 2. This this deserves S tier 100%. S tier. S tier. Yes, sir. I love this game so much. Just S, bro. Good storyline. Good multiplayer. Good spec ops. I just love the storyline for Modern Warfare 2. Perfect. Now we're going to start with Black Ops 1. And then we go to Modern Warfare 3. Okay, Black Ops 1. Okay, this game was perfect. Like, I, I just... I can't say about Black Ops 1 because it's just too perfect. Like, damn. This game was so good whenever I first played it. Whenever I watched my cousins play it. Oh my god. Man, it's just very good. Because they had a good storyline too with Mason, Woods, Hudson every single one bro dang this game has to be one of the best ones so this deserves to be an s tier 100 percent s tier right here bro okay mw3 okay i don't know if that's too many s tiers to be honest but yeah mw3 okay this game was so good i mean the mw3 storyline is still top tier best so I think in W3 has to go in the S or A tier, so I'm about to pick the S tier because it deserves to be in the S tier. I love in W3 because they have an infection, they have a multiplayer, plus their campaign was super good because their storyline was good. You know what's the saddest part about, about in W3? Where freaking Soap died, man. <sighs> soap died, bro. Oh man, same thing with W2. Fuck, man. Not Ghost and Roach, man. Man, F Shepard for that, man. Gosh, bro. But anyways, that's a good game. Y'all should play it. Well, it's already old, but I'm about to say it. But yeah. Okay. Now we're going to hop on to the, one of the best, last but not least, games ever. This game has surprised me. It has shocked me. It gives me everything. This game. And this game absolutely deserves to be in the S tier. Because I'm going to tell you why. Because they had the best campaign ever, bro. Like, I'm telling you, man. The best multiplayer, too. And the zombies. You got to love the multiplayer and zombies in the campaign. Because all three of them just... They did perfect. Treyarch, Treyarch just did perfect in this game. I loved it. I loved it every single bit about this game. Because it was so perfect. You have Transit, you have Buried, you have Origins, you have Mob of the Dead, you have other maps. This was very good. Very good game. Honestly, very good game. Y'all... Y'all should, um, buy this game. And also the campaign. The campaign was just very good. I loved it, the campaign so much. Seriously, I, I really loved it. The campaign was very good. It was um the same characters but perfect. But there was a different character called um David Mason. David Mason was actually the young version of Alex Mason. But yeah. Perfect game. 
Y'all should play. I don't, I don't know why I keep saying that, but yeah. That's it. All right, let's go. Next game. Ghost. All right, so, something about Ghost. It was not good. I'm about to say it was not good. I'm sorry, but the campaign was all right. I should say it was okay. I mean, they had a good storyline, but it's just the, the rest of the stuff from Ghost was just terrible. The extinction, the extinction mode was terrible. The multiplayer was so god awful. Oh man, I'm sorry, but I'm about to give this a C. I really liked the infection, but mm, the ghost was just too bad. So sorry, guys, but I'm not a fan of this game, though. I'm not a fan of Advanced Warfare, so yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I know you're gonna argue with me about Advanced Warfare, but it's not, I'm not a fan of that game. I'm just saying, not a fan. I'm sorry, but not a fan, bro. Nope, not a fan. Next game. This, this is the, one of the best games ever. Just like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. This game has just shocked me and shocked my heart. I know it failed me on the campaign, but this game just, oh man, multiplayer just has the best gun loadouts, the best specialist. Man, this game has really shocked me the most, and it's called BO3. It deserves to be in the A tier, because I'm going to ask you why, because they had a bad campaign, so I'm about to give it slightly an A tier, because they had the best multiplayer in there. Oh, sorry. They had the best multiplayer in there, and they had the best zombies. And I'm telling you, the zombies is just my favorite out of all, and multiplayer is just at least my favorite, because I'm going to tell you why the zombies is, is actually my favorite. It's because they have revelations, they have origins, they have like Shadows of Evil, The Rising Jack, Die Rise, well not Die Rise, but yeah. And they have the Stomach Chronicles too. They have all these perfect map maps, bro. And I love it so much. Black Ops 3 did so awesome. Treyarch actually did a good job on this game. This was actually the last good game until we went to a downfall to Call of Duty. It's gonna be sad. Uh, just get ready, get ready for the um, not good tier list. This is gonna be a bad tier list right here, bro. Uh, yeah. All right. Black Ops 2 was actually the best game, the last best game. So, yeah, shoot yourselves, man. This is not gonna be a good game that I'm about to do. We're gonna start at War of well, War of War 2. Pretty good campaign, I'm about to say. People say it was boring. I mean, I could agree that the multiplayer was just boring and then the zombies was just awful. So I'm about to say, World of War 2 has to be in the C tier. I'm sorry, but they had a good campaign, but the, the, the two things they messed up was just wrong. <sighs> World War 2, World of War 2 was just not a good game, I'm sorry. I don't know if these two games could be included. Well, there's two Vanguards, but it's whatever. Anyways, I might as well just rank these. Well, Call of Duty Mobile has to be like the D tier, because I don't know. I, I do play it on my phone, but I just might, I might as well just put out the D tier, because I don't ever play it. This was, uh, yeah, 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 D tier. Yeah, I might just slide all of these to D tier, because... They're not, they're not my favorite. But anyways, um, let's get into the worst games ever. Okay, okay. Black Ops 4. Shame. Very shame. Very shame. I did not I did not like Black Ops 4. They had the shitty camp well there was no campaign honestly. They had a shitty multiplayer, a shitty zombies. All of it was just bad. When I mean it was bad, it was bad. It's man. They had not had a good storyline with zombies, but it was so sad how all the Origins group are gone. That's one sad thing. Plus, they had a bad game. So I'm sorry to say this for all the Black Ops 4 fans out there. 
D tier. I'm sorry. Not a not a fan of this game. This game was very garbage. Garbage. Okay. Infinity War. D tier. Not my favorite. I'm just saying it is not my favorite. So I'm gonna ask you why? Because because it was such a bad game. The campaign was pretty good, but the rest of the stuff was just god awful. It was terrible. If you are a fan of that stuff, I'm really sorry, but I'm not a fan of Infinity War. Nope, nope, nope. Not a fan of Infinity War. Warfare Hamet. Let's go to Black Ops Cold War. Okay. Black Ops Cold War kind of impressed me a little bit because they really had a decent campaign. It was pretty good. We went against Russians in that game. I liked it. I liked it because it was a good storyline. Multiplayer went lackluster. Lackluster. It was very terrible because why won't me ask you why? Because there were so many like broken skill based matchmaking in that game and the weapons are too OP. You have to buy good weapons to like rank up and stuff. Like I don't know man. It's just and then the zombies, perfect zombies right there. Good job. Good job. Good job all the Activision everybody. Just good job on the zombies. That's it. So I'm gonna have to do it finally, but at least I will give this a B tier. Because it was it was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty good. Don't argue with me, please. Don't I don't I don't wanna get attacked. Anyways, um 2019 we're gonna have to talk about because this game was just really bad i did not like it nope not every single bit nah -uh. this game was terrible god awful terrible man 2019 has to be one of the worst freaking call of duties i have ever seen my entire life because you know in multiplayer there is always campers with claymores, C4s, everything. And I'm telling you, man, this game was just a curse. It was just bad to the Call of Duty community. And I'm telling you, man, people will start making rants about multiplayer that it was terrible. So this game deserves to be in the D tier because I don't like the game. I don't like 2019. 2019 has to be the worst game. And the campaign, well, it's decent. But anyways do not like that game i do not like that game and then we already know we already know this answer we already know this answer to this vanguard game we all know what's the answer d tier be honest d tier because i did not play i did not buy the game i just didn't i was not interested in that game no vanguard is just garbage in general do not buy vanguard do not buy vanguard I do not like Vanguard because it is the same thing like 2019. It is ridiculous. Nope. I prefer not buying it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Vanguard is garbage. They had a trash campaign. They had a trash multiplayer. They had a trash. I don't even know they have zombies. Yeah, they do have zombies. I don't even know what the entire thing is about for Vanguard because it's so booty and garbage. Who wants to buy Vanguard? Nobody because that game is trash. It's like Battlefield 2042, man. Ridiculous. Come on, man. Make up y'all's games, bro. Like, dang. Well, anyway, sorry about all the excuses I made about this game. Anyways, we're about to we're about to move on to the new game. This really just impressed me. This impressed me because I played the campaign. I don't want to show no spoilers or anything because I can't say anything about the game because I know nobody didn't play it, which I'm sorry. If y'all play early access, then y'all will y'all will know about about this game. Anyways, in W2's campaign, pretty good. Pretty good actors. I mean, the campaign was super hard when you had to go find, like, stuff and all of that. And you just keep dying by these freaking cartels and beaners and um, some shadow company people. Plus, you have to fight Russia, too. I don't... I think so, but yeah. The ending was perfect. I mean, it was an okay game. But the multiplayer... Hmm... Like Gluster multiplayer, honestly, I don't like the multiplayer in W2. It's the same thing like 2019, bro. I mean, you just gotta put on the best classes for for W2 2022. 
you just gotta put the best classes in there and that's it. I mean, this game from multiplayer is just garbage. I mean, I'm about to rank this to an A tier because they really had good actors for the campaign. No lies. No lies. They really had good actors. So I'm about to give this an A tier. Oh man, that was a really good tier list. Just look at the S tiers. All golly games on top. Three best games. Three best games. Least. Because I, I don't like Ghost or World of War 2, so yeah. And all these games are just, nah. Yeah, anyways guys, I think that's it for my tier list. It was a really good video, I ain't gonna lie. I just never made a tier list. This is my first time making a tier list. Just me talking about all the Call of Duties. It's really good, I ain't gonna lie. Well, anyways, that is it, guys. I hope everyone has a good day. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and comment and hit the bell too. Thank God for joining me for this tier list. I hope you watch this video and give it a like because I was proud to make this. I want to make this so bad because I had a PC back then. So this is my first time so y'all asked me to like make more of this and I can just rank them and talk about it. Well anyways that's it guys. I hope everyone has a good day. And I moved to I went to Virgin it, it was pretty good. I actually liked it. I really liked it today. Anyways, that's it. I know I said that one billion times, but yeah. I just wanna say I will hit this outro in three, two, one. So I'll see y'all later. And peace out, boys.